Yeah, that's what, actually why I wanted to have you on the show was um, we uh, the last time we saw each other we were uh, we were we were yeah, ga- we were gambling. Gambler. Man. Oh um, man, through the pumice haze, like I saw <laughs> yeah, you, I saw you right uh, after we put hand controls onto the Forester, and that was I had driven that Forester for about oh twenty seconds before I saw you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're just getting a feel yeah, for it. Yeah, I was like, I, okay. I um, I bought some hand controls, and uh, I just was not comfortable driving with them. Oh, really? So I'm for next year. I'm gonna, You're gonna um, get it hooked up. Yeah, Dude, I'm gonna get next a legit year set. Is gonna be off. I'm like, I've got all these. Once you go, you get all these ideas of what you want to do next year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, How many times have you done it? This that was my third one. So I did it last summer, gambler. Yeah. Uh, in Chamolt. And then we did the winter gambler in, uh, what's it called there, uh, in the Columbia River Gorge, yeah, Castle Castle Rock or oh right, I don't know. Yeah, 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 I always get the town wrong. Uh, and dude, that was that was crazy because it just rained like the whole time. What uh, time of year was that? Uh, gosh, dude, it was like November or like oh. October, or November, or maybe it was. Yeah, it was crazy. Dude, we survived. It's, it's incredible how uh, like much it's blown up. It's got big. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, then this year, they like sold out and had other campsites too, and that's where you camped. We showed up like super early and got. They a spot. sold out. Well, I think they said they closed it off at six thousand. Yeah, uh, I know. I know they had to put a deadline, like a hard deadline. Yeah, maybe they didn't, but I I got the feeling that like. They did, and that's why they were doing that. And there were probably some like illegal gamblers where they just like oh, they, they just, just showed up. Yeah, like, they just yeah. showed up and then found a spot to camp. Probably. I mean, there yeah. was space. We did there was, like. A, I mean, there were spots all over. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't necessarily have to be in Gambler Town. Right. It was. Yeah, because there was like definitely their own little crews that got like these little kind of inlets there in the quarry. Yeah. Which would be super fun to get. That's what we were saying. So we've always taken. Well, the first year we had two cars. The winter one we had two cars this one the one, one guy blew his knee out so we just took one gambler and like a support truck yeah and uh and so this is my third one navigating with jake it's my buddy jake and uh next year we were like i'm branching out i'm doing my own car yeah and i think my dad signed up to navigate so all like, right well it's like hopefully that works out what uh what are you thinking about using uh got some friends who had I, we were like i was like over doing something and i look out in this field and it's like this just beautiful like unicorn it's a burgundy subaru loyal wagon oh, early yeah. 90s yeah it's buddy. grass growing up all around it and i was like what are you guys doing with that subaru out there and she, she was like oh you know it's like been sitting out there forever. We wanted to fix it, but we just never got to it. She's like, if you want to take a look at it, you can have it. It's like, uh, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to get that. And dude, you know, um, Dave, I can't remember his last name. He's like, came out and played rugby for a while. Pearson. Yeah. Dave Pearson. Yeah. He had, he's like put up like a free, um, truck wheelchair lift. Like it picks up your chair, swings it in. Yeah. The Bruno crane. Yeah. 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 That's what and I have. He was like, anybody who wants this can have it. And I was like, booyah. And that was like maybe six years ago. Yeah. I've always, not, I've never used it. And uh, so I'm going to get that and I'm going to weld it to the top of the Subaru and like <laughs> lift, I'm going to lift the Subaru and that's going to like put me into the front seat. Oh. Yeah. Um. I don't know about how it's going to work out. Weight but limit it's be, wise. Is it just for a chair? Oh yeah, dude. Is, I'm gonna I don't. Dude. I know there is no. Well, there. I know there is a heavy duty one. Okay. That can lift power chairs. Now that, oh dude, I think Dave like he was in a power chair. Maybe it could be a power chair one. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. But if not, I can always just like, dude, totally Jimmy rig it. Yeah. And just that's the whole point of it, right? Like, just, I wish, I wish I would have got a power chair one. That way, I can sling myself into my truck bed. Yeah. Well, my yeah. thought was to. Um, Cause in Gambler Town, it's like people were chilling on top of their cars. I know. So my I was jealous. Was build a freaking like patio on top of the Loyal. So this is like super. This is build a patio, put that freaking crane lift, <laughs> double store like two stories up. Yeah. So it can lift me up to level one driving or level two patio. And then you could uh, 
You chill, can just chill yeah. like in a hammock. Dude, just chill up there. Bring, bring the crane all the way up yeah. and just chill like in a hammock. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> off to the top, chill. <laughs> and then, like, lift me in. That way I can lift it, too, like, more than, uh, you know, from what I can transfer. Dude, you were in Gambler's Town after dark. Yes. When the music was going off? Oh yeah. What was that like? Um was that just straight it was up like okay. was it like was it like the Thunderdome? No. The music like it was more like the revving of the engines and like the lights that people would put on their stuff and Yeah. That's what was fun, I think. And uh dude, whatever I bring next year too is gonna have like lasers and and <laughs> something. Because all the dust and stuff with like lasers through it. Yeah. Oh man, that was fun. Trippy. Think, yeah. So I think that's the cool part. Lights, definitely. All right. Yeah. yeah I, I've been thinking about what I want to do to my rig because it survived. Yeah. Yeah, it's my old. What did uh, you take? I, didn't, I never heard. It's. um. Oh, Pathfinder. Yeah, well, it's a QX4. It's the infinity. I don't know. It's, it's the infinity version of the Pathfinder. Oh, okay, okay. So it's got like a Bose radio and luxury oh, seats. <laughs> and okay, you know what's funny okay, is, okay. Um, so it's been passed down through this entire house. Like okay. My mom drove it, and then uh, Pat drove it. Nice. And then my uh, I I drove it for a little bit, and then uh, uh, uh my brother Teddy. So there's hand controls on it. No. Oh wait, you were saying this is the one that you didn't feel comfortable. Dude, I had yeah, I had this one in high school. Oh, okay. Yeah, I drove this one like my senior year through like college for a little bit. Oh, gotcha. Um, but yeah, so it's just been like passed around and my brother finally got a new car and so it's just been sitting in the backyard and this year, this you know, thing, yeah, my summer was open and I was like, dude, I've been I you know, I've known about the gambler for like 4 years cuz it's Okay. It started here in Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just found out about it last summer and I found out about like a week before I went, my buddy Jake was like, I got a, you know, a spot in the back if you want to go. I was like, heck yeah. So yeah, I jumped in unknowing what I was even getting myself into. What, uh, what do you like about it? Um, you know, I like about it is like, well, obviously like driving a fun car, like getting on like the back roads, uh, I like the navigating part too. Right. I mean, obviously, hang, and hanging out with Jake and friends. And did you guys actually gamble it down there? Uh, sort of. So like, we went to Conversion Brewing. Well, we went to World of Speed and did like the Rolling Start. Okay. So that was fun because like, dude, and we, dude, listen, to this, we started. The, we, we actually have another car. We had a, it's like a early '90s Loyal. It's blue, and. That's what we gambled the first two. And then the third one, we sawzalled off the back of it, turned uh -huh. it into like a truck. Yeah. We got like, uh, just you an know, open some, cap, some like... square, some square beam and like, you know, braced it up and like welded it, welded caps on it. So like got it all like, it was looking really good. We got some semi stacks and like welded it so that it came out <laughs> this top. It was like looking badass. And, uh, but we like went to go and the water pump or not the water pump, the fuel pump. Uh, just died. Oh, it sucks. Like literally the morning of, and uh, fuel pumps in the fuel tank, and it's like we didn't want to get it. We had the Forester that we bought for next year, because it has a bad motor, and so it only runs on three cylinders. Yeah. So we were like, "Fuck it, let's take the Forester." So we hopped in the Forester. We did it, and it's all on three cylinders. So. But as long as you kept it up high, it would like run so great. <laughs> the check engine light like started flashing at us, and uh, we're like, hey, whatever. Anyways, we made it. So we <laughs> did conversion brewing, or we did the uh, world of speed conversion brewing. Then went like right after Sweet Home, Oregon. You like head north. Yeah. Kind of right after the lake, there you kind of take this bridge and get on the other side of the river. And you head up the river. And then you kind of like head up into the hills a little bit, but it was beautiful. It was like, I don't remember ever seeing natural rhododendrons or like there's rhododendrons everywhere. Yeah. And I was like, man, I want to come up here and get one of these. Right. Yeah. yeah. What do you know what the deal was with people picking up pine cones? Did you notice that? No. People had like uh, bags full of just the giant pine cones that were everywhere. What? And we I were like, we were having a debate about what they were doing. And oh, I never our conclusion was 
Yeah, our conclusion was that it was for arts and crafts. Arts and crafts. I mean, maybe. I, it's like pine cones, yeah. Yeah, like you spray paint them white and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I mean, maybe there's like a sweet market for that out there because I'd collect pine cones. Well, I probably wouldn't actually. Yeah, either that or for like Tinder. I was going to say, yeah, using it as fire starter and yeah. I, I was trying to figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's funny. yeah, it was cool. Yeah. The, um, so, you know, we had that, we had the QX4 and um, we just had to get a new battery for it and it fired up and started Sweet. running. So we uh, changed out the spark plugs because that had never been done. Those things were, uh, oh, like dude. So I, and okay. So get this, dude. Riddle me this. Yeah. And this has been blown my mind. Okay. We were changing out the spark plugs. Yeah. And we ended up pulling out seven spark plugs. What? We pulled out two spark plugs from a cylinder. It's a V6. And somehow we ended up, we I, we have a picture of it, all seven spark plugs. We're like, what the fuck? How did that happen? I have no idea. And I think the guys are fucking with us. Because it was, it was, it's a team of four, and it's four Marines. Okay. Right? It's like oh, three three Marine two. buddies of mine. Had to be. And I, I'm thinking two of them were in on it and are fucking with the <laughs> other two because we were working on a different part <laughs> of the truck. Seven. All right. Yeah. But we just leveled it out. Um, nice. Got the maintenance up and then just did some cosmetic treatments. You know, put oh, the, what did uh, you do? Uh, we uh, <laughs> sanded the fuck out of the hood. Nice. With a belt sander. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gouged it all up and uh, spray painted it black. Sweet. Threw the uh, sweet decal on it. You know, the ga the gambler skull. Oh, yes. We had one on the Subaru, but yeah. Nice. Did some janky ass uh, flag mounts. Sweet. Yeah. Dude, that was one thing I was missing. I didn't have a flag mount. I brought a flag. Uh, I brought a Cascadia flag for my tent. Oh, dope. I, yeah, I take it everywhere I go and like put it up and that's uh i got a cascadia sticker on the back of my um oh sweet on my laptop nice nice uh uh for fourth of july i wore my cascadia shirt and my uncle sam like cascadia sam shirt yeah and like had my cascadia flag flying uh but dude the off-road the i wish that the waypoints were more off-road yeah it was a while until we hit um like off pavement yeah going going what they did and we didn't fall it all the way either so our plan next year is i will i'm gonna get new shocks for the the pig yeah it's actually uh we nicknamed her the barracks rat the barracks rat yeah which right. is like uh it's like i guess marine talk for like a chick who gets around oh like, nice. who gets around the barracks <laughs> like nice yeah. nice well so it's like what you said that car's been around yeah <laughs> all that and it's like four marines and nice we've all been inside her <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna kind of rat her up a little bit maybe find like a big like nasty like rubber sewer rat like doll there you go yeah That's like sweet. staple her to the hood or something we uh were you we let's see what were we we were black ice which is not as cool as that but <laughs> black ice. black ice we had that's like creative there though. was a black ice uh, air freshener it was like a black yeah. tree it's a black ice i was like that's what we were 